Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. Now, if I was to show you this cockpit piece, what ship comes to mind? Well, that's cheating. You've already seen the title and thumbnail. You know that my mind goes straight to the snow speeder that is iconic for the scene on Hoth in Empire Strikes Back. And originally, when I did my review, I think I said that I would be rebuilding this ship into an A-Wing because the ship itself does match up to an A-Wing. And if you did want to check out my review, I'll leave it linked on the end screen so you can watch it after this video. But since then, I have changed my mind and I am now going to be going with a snow speeder. And I say going to because as you can see, I haven't built it yet. I quite enjoyed making the video of the process behind building the Moss Eisley modular build, which if you haven't seen that, we're completely restarting the city and we're going all out to make it Star Wars themed. So check out that video. I'll also leave it on the end screen. But let's get straight into building this snow speeder because I already have some ideas that might come in handy. In fact, before we get around to sizing up the model, as you can see, we have hundreds of pieces to work with. But they are an old, I think around 2012, that region set. They're over a decade old nonetheless and it does mean the bricks are prone to cracking. So I showed you briefly the other day, my printed wedge brick here has actually cracked twice along this side of the brick. So I ended up trying to glue it together and I'm honestly not sure if this is gonna work out. So I might just pull this apart by ripping off the tape, but we're gonna find out on camera because a lot of people will just throw this brick away and first off I perhaps shouldn't have used this strong tape because it might pull off the printing but it seems we got quite a bit lucky with that and it looks like it has held together it looks like it's held together quite well which is really really nice to see there's some sort of remnants of I don't know if that's a bit of probably a bit of the glue you can see a little bit that crack there was the first one and then we had this massive part on the right crack off but I've just used a bit of glue to seal it back up and it doesn't look new but when you're building a mock I'm not going to try and sell this to anyone because I wouldn't recommend that this is probably going to snap the next time I put it down on a lego plate but when you're building a mock this side is going to be up against another brick wall. Hopefully it is. I'm going to make sure it is now that it has cracked. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it in the original model. But rather than just throwing it away and having that little crack visible at the front, I thought I'd give it a go gluing it. And as long as it doesn't crumble, I definitely recommend trying this yourself. Of course, don't go out of your way to break any Lego pieces. But if you have a few pieces that are repairable, they're not going to be as strong as the regular ABS which can hold quite a bit of tension but they're gonna look good on a mock. If you are new here you might not know the first process that we go with when building a mock and that is to get an outline of the ship's size. This snow speeder even though it's a mock of another set we're still going to build this 1 to 45 scout so I've got my corner plates here. I don't know whose idea it was to get white bricks for a white base plate. Maybe we can change that. So I've got some black ones here. I think that will stand out a bit better on the white. And the size of the ship is 18 studs long by 15 studs wide. So I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me count it out. But once I've done that, we then have a rough frame for the model of the ship. And that just shows us roughly what outline we've got to keep within and then we can start placing some pieces down and finding out just how big the ship can actually be. Now because it is 15 studs wide it does make it a bit awkward to build in because then you have the odd amount of studs down the middle but all I'm going to do is close it in one and we can add some different tiles and perhaps even try and get a bracket on the outside. And I'm going to take you through how I get the rough shape of it because it's a question I get asked quite a bit 
and it will be beneficial for some people to have a rough guide when trying to build a ship. So we know the square that I've got to be staying in, but the snow speeder actually has a quite complicated front to it where you've got the nose of the ship and then you have these parts, I guess, sort of sticking out over the nose and they are at an angle which just makes it all that much more complicated. I think for the sake of this snow speeder, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to create that angle on the nose. So perhaps we just need to move the wings back a little bit and we don't want a really thin nose either. So we can trial a few different piece combinations on the front here and just find something that ends up working out. And what I've come up with so far is to try and decorate the wings. Originally, I was gonna go with these slopes. I think they're definitely much better off elsewhere, though I'm not quite sure if they would be able to be used in this model just because of how big they are. Perhaps we can try and build something on top of them, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get the width in this ship. So they will have to go in a place where I'm not gonna crack them any further. But for the wings, I've come up with this design, which is really complicated. I'm gonna break it down now so you can see just how I've put it together. And we've got two of these clip extenders with one of the black Technic pins inside. And that is hooped onto this flick fire missile with another one on the end. Perhaps we could switch up the colors afterwards, but that keeps it in there nice and secure. And then this other end here clips onto this axle, which is holding these two round parts, making up a bit more of the engine. And I thought that was just a really, really cool technique that I've used to get all three of these on here without having to use some sort of axle or multiple pins going up the middle. And then with the end, we could clip so many different things. We could go for a, another one of these flick fire missiles to act as the blaster and Perhaps we can try and clip some sort of dish on the end to make it look like it is firing. But I thought I'd show that off real quick. And now we've got to build up the wing so that it actually fits on top. So now I'm looking at trying to get the connection between the wing and the ship. And this front bit is causing quite some difficulty. So we might have to remove that and switch it out for either another piece or probably just get rid of it entirely. And then we can always come back at the end and try and get a few more pieces in to close the gap. Now, as we're getting to a point where I need to start looking at where the cockpit is gonna be going on this model, I've bought in the minifigures. I would love to fit both of these underneath this cockpit, but I do realize how small this cockpit is and it's just, not really looking like that's gonna be likely at all. So I'm gonna give it a go, but what I might have to do is raise the cockpit quite a bit to adjust for it, and it might not look as great as I hoped, but there is really only one way to find out. So we're looking like we're probably gonna have quite a big gap in there, but let's try a few different things and see what we can get to fit. Also, whilst we have the minifigures to hand, I've not shown you this yet, but this is the droid that comes with the third wheel from the set, which hopefully I showed off in my review of the set, but I pointed it out a while ago on my minifigure display and said that I'd show you at some point and I never got around to doing it. It's cool because you've got the wheel that sort of comes out the back. I'm not really sure how the wheel is meant to work, but I guess it provides a bit more back support for the droid. It's pretty cool and it's surprising we haven't seen Lego even attempt to get a third wheel on a droid well since this minifigure was made. So I've come to the conclusion there's no way I'm going to be able to fit both of these minifigures in the snow speeder. But now I'm thinking of what other builds I can do. And I guess I've got to see what pieces I have left over first, but I am going to put the Republic Trooper in the snow speeder. It matches the white and the dark red color scheme, but this is definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. So the last few minutes, I sort of broke down this middle part of the ship to try and 
sort it out. I would still like to get the two minifigures in the cockpit. I don't think that's going to be possible. But what I did when I last built the torso was added this two by four. And that was so I could try and fit the droid on the top, which again is going to be very difficult because it's got the plate that sticks out just a bit too far on the front here. And it's also got the wheel behind it, which sticks out two studs. So that is going to be a task for a minute because what I've done to clip the wings at this angled position is you've got the bar and the clips from here, same as before. And then we've got these studs clipping it on on the underside, which are actually on the round circles that sort of usually go between the studs and are used to hold the studs. It's what gives Lego bricks the clutch power over everything else. And I'm really liking the design so far. I was going to incorporate the hinges you perhaps saw towards the front to cover up the edge of this windshield but because I am putting a droid in the back that's acting as the second person so I think I'm all right with just getting the one minifigure in. Now I've just got to build up the front get the point out and work from there. So for the last couple of minutes I have been rebuilding and building again this part of the wing and it's still not lining up and I honestly cut you know what, looking through the camera, I think I've just solved it. So the mistake I'm making is this piece here. On the left wing, we've got a tile and on the right wing, we don't. So I'm trying to line it up with the wrong tile. But so far, it is looking really, really good. About halfway through, I was thinking about perhaps turning it into an A wing and thinking that past me had the last laugh. But I'm actually really liking the look of the snow speeder. So now... I'm going to bulk up the middle, all the interesting bit has been done, so I won't time lapse the rest of it. And then I will show you the finished model, which you'll see in just a moment. So I finally finished building this snow speeder. This was actually much, much harder than a ship that looks similar enough to another ship. Take the recent snub fighter, for instance, turning that into an A-wing or maybe even turning it into a snow speeder. Looks like it might be a bit easier than this. Obviously, I don't have these set, so it might be just as hard. But I have built the snow speeder, and I've actually managed to get quite a few different features into this. So we will take a look at it in a second. But the big test is, is it mini figure scale? Does this size up to a 1 to 45 scale snow speeder? And now is time for the test. It's definitely a very swooshable model. This is a really nice size for a snow speeder. I'd love, if we do get a snow speeder for Empire Strikes Back anniversary next year, I'd love for it to be this size. I think this is perfect. This right here isn't even a 30 pound playset. I don't think this could definitely be a 25 pound playset, probably 20 pound. You're looking at the battle packs. You know what? Lego would probably definitely charge a 30 pound for this, especially if they use a few smaller pieces for the wings. But we've placed it down on the plate. It looks good. You can see at the back the wings, if I was to straighten out the model, fit within the width limit of it. But does it fit within the length? Well, we'll move it one stud forward. And it's almost perfect. The reason I say almost, technically, we've got the edge of this orange stud hanging out. And we also have the engines at the back, which, by the way, take a look at all the... It's not even snot technique, it's a bit of everything that I've used for the engines. Or don't if it's blurry, there we go. Take a look at all them different pieces used for the engines. If you would like to see instructions of this, let me know. I'll add them to the members discord and I can also add them to Rebrickable if you would like. I'm really happy with how this turned out and the best feature of it is you can see the droids legs are somewhat clipped behind the slope pieces that are right behind it and that means even though the droid isn't studded in or anything it doesn't have any studs on the bottom of it you can flip the ship upside down give it a wiggle give it a very violent shake actually the wings are starting to pop off and that droid is not budget like you can be swooshing around this ship for so long even swoosh upside down perhaps the pilot's practicing his upside down flying and there is no way that droid is coming out. And 
just to prove that the droid isn't studded in at all all you have to do is pull up on it and the underside slopes stop the droid falling out but also move the legs into the straight position you're used to seeing when you want to get the droid out and i've also fit the republic trooper in the front it's a tight fit but it does look really really cool now the reason i've put that aside for now is i just wanted to let you know there are some really really big updates coming for the channel not in terms of videos but in terms of expanding what we do under the name master moldy so please do drop a like if you ended up enjoying this video it was a tough one but we got there in the end and stay tuned there's a lot of work going on in the background right now and hopefully you'll enjoy where we're heading but make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always